quick question, like I said, where do you have Danny Amendola rest of the season? He's clearly the number one wide receiver in the National Football League from here on out. Well, because the rule is, right, like if a really good player ahead of you gets injured, the next guy becomes that player. Like Probably he, better. He takes his essence and his being, and he just becomes them. Right. Uh, mockery. That's a mockery. Yeah, that's sarcasm. So here, Here's my view on Danny Mandola. I actually really like him. I would love to have him on my team. I feel like he is the type of guy that's going to get a ton of targets, have games. Has to. Has to, right? He's going to have games where he scores because that offense scores so much. He's going to be involved, and he's going to have a, a decent ceiling and a decent floor. But what you're going to get is you're going to get certain games where game flow, they just say, hey, I'm going to go LeGarrette Blunt this game and go nuts with that and deep balls to LaFell. And, and it's just going to be different games where you're going to be disappointed that you that you might have started him. Just like you are when you start LeGarrette Blunt and you go, oh, this is he's going to eat, and then he doesn't get any carries. So he, he's going to be up and down. The one thing that I would say is this. Julian Edelman goes out, and we're hoping or wanting or believing that Danny Amendola steps into that role, but he isn't Julian Edelman. He isn't as fast. He isn't as quick. His little, you know, Julian Edelman's yards after the catch are always really impressive. They're very Wes Welker, you know, from years ago where he grabs the ball, does a little cut, and goes. You just don't see that same thing from Amendola. So you can't be expecting him to be Edelman. Yeah, and that that was my whole point. I didn't say I didn't like Amendola at all. I think I went out and spent some, you know, I tried to bid on him in all my leagues. But to come in and just say, you know, to me, he's going to be 70% of the fantasy production of Julian Edelman. Which is great. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, and, and one thing that we're forgetting is we don't know what the impact of losing Deion Lewis was going to be on Edelman. Because this was the first game without Deion Lewis, and he averaged seven targets a game, and then Edelman was going to probably get a little bit more attention. So maybe that bumps Amendola up again. But all I'm saying is there. this is Bill Belichick. This is Keyshawn Martin Aaron Dobson, Chris Harper, Scott Chandler, Brandon Bolden. Uh, those are all guys that somebody's going to do something that we don't expect because when Welker left before, Amendola was supposed to sweep in and oh, become Wes Welker. Everyone was excited for Amendola. He will have his games. He will absolutely have his games. He's worth owning. That being uh, said, that list of players you just named, which I get what you're saying, right? Bill Belichick will use anybody and everybody that, at different did games. That talk, talk but it, more it really him. made me like Amendola. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I don't like any of those guys. Are you telling me Dobson is my... I didn't even say James White. <laughs> right? Right. Uh, okay, so uh, real quick. Real quick answers on these. Danny Amendola, rest of the season. Do you like him above or below Michael Crabtree? Below. Brandon LaFell. Below. Eric Decker. Below. Jarvis Landry. Below. Stevie Johnson. Above. Alan Hearns. Above. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for being so, so prompt <laughs> and quick. You said quick answers. <clears throat>